Should almost be the name of our channel. Catastrophic failures. <laughs> we seem to have enough of them. Hello? Oh shit. Was that work? Missed him. Catastrophic failures. First we have to figure out how to spell catastrophic. Yeah. I know, we have catastrophic failure too. Oh, it's starting. <laughs> it already started. It has begun. Hello? Hey, is it the drive shaft or the universal? Uh, we have, we don't know. I gotta get the drive shaft out to find out, but I'm pretty sure it's the universal. Oh yeah, so you'll be able to get it right out there right now, eh? Yeah. Yeah, okay, and then take it to the automotive shop and have them size it up. Yeah. Yep. Okay, sounds good, buddy. Is she coming out here today? Uh, uh, I haven't seen him yet, so whatever. Don't matter now. You're broke down for the day, so. Well, I know. I just if I can leave the skitter here, if I gotta move it. Like once I get this huge, once I get this drive shaft out, I'll be able to move it, right? Yeah, I, I would. I'll just just do the drive shaft and try and see if you can get it today, and then I'll tell him later on, right? Okay. The drive shaft. Okay. okay. Yep. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah. Find out what she is. All right. Yeah, we get this out of here. Wow. Oh, yeah. Did you tell them? So, boys, we found a new name for our channel. It's called Catastrophic Failures because yeah. we experience a lot of those. Yeah. We don't know how to do our job. <laughs> I don't know how to maintain this thing because I'm not from the 50s. <laughs> yeah. It's that grease gun thing we gave you. Oh. <coughs> well, I didn't know I had to get under there. You just stick. You just stick this thing in your piss hole <clears throat> and then whack off so you get a good fucking squirt. Good little pump in there? Yeah. Yeah. So stretch your piss hole out because you're going to need to. Uh, yeah, leave. I know. I'm pretty sure I can get it right now. Get over that. <laughs> you can get it right in there. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Good stuff, buddy. Haven't you ever heard of those things where you take like that glass tube and you stick it up your dick? No. <laughs> no, I never. No. <laughs> It's one of those like weird fetish things. You take the glass, the glass tube, and you like stick it up up your dick. But then you like like you know you fuck or whatever you're doing, and then it uh like it's supposed to be like great for like when you blow it like holds it all in and just fucking shoots it out like a fucking like a rocket. rocket. Yeah. I bet you Josh knows about that. Josh? Like yeah. my buddy Josh? Well, your buddy Josh and fucking. Junk news, Josh. Junk news, Josh. I don't know. I guess we'll, I don't know. Josh, he seems you know to know about, about He seems to know about all the weird shit going on around town. Did you see him checking out the two dicks? The guy with the guys with the two dicks? No. Oh, there's like guys with like two dicks, and like it's really disappointing because they're like side by side. If I had two dicks, I'd want them top to bottom. You know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. So you do a double penetrator yeah, by yeah. yourself. But I mean, if you got them side to side, fuck, it's a little bit, yeah. you know, like yeah, like and what if they like when you get them like all fucking. When they're all hard and shit, they're like sideways, they, like, you know, like, they yeah, they're like, a v yeah, moment. they're doing a little fork action, you know? Then you're in big trouble. Yeah, then what do you do, right? Oh, fuck. Alright, let's see what I can do here. That'll be the broken part there. Somewhere in there. I think Matt might have put this together. They were just hand tight. <laughs> right on. Well, that last one was anyways, I fucking just screwed it right off. 
That's the best kind. Yeah. Well, he probably wiggled it so free. I'm going to need you to come back there with me. Yeah. Because might as well film it. I might die. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, yeah. I mean, it'll suck if you die, but I mean, if I get a million views, fuck. Guy, guy dies falling tree. Fuck a million views right there. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll uh, donate proceeds to the Drew Bartlett Tree Fell On, tree fell on Me Fund. <laughs> Fell on the foundation. <laughs> 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 Kristen. Well, the funny thing is, is fucking she was sitting there with him when she's like, should I message this guy? And he's like, yeah, go for it. Because she got onto the memes with Willie and uh -huh. seen me on there and fucking she's like, oh, she's like, should I message this YouTube guy? And he's like, whatever, fuck, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was, I was actually asking her that, like fucking, I was like fucking... Like, oh yeah. No, now he just fucking stalks me. <laughs> He's a bigger fan than she is. Yeah. He's trying to figure out how I actually keep getting her to. <laughs> how does he do it? Send him a picture of your hammer. I fucking want to. That's what I told her I was gonna do. I was like, fucking, should I just send him a picture and be like, this is what she likes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what keeps her coming here. Oh fuck, I was him, I'd be at your fucking door like an hour later. <laughs> Hundred and fucking eighty from Oshawa. <laughs> cut that off the fuck play this out. Yeah. I'm gonna fucking kill this guy. <laughs> Who the fuck does this guy think he is? And it's funny because like I never said anything to try to act fucking hard to him or anything and fucking she's and he's like going to her like he thinks he's so fucking tough. She's like, how does he think he's so tough? He just agrees with you. Everything you say, he just agrees with you. <laughs> like when she, when he's like, how'd my dick taste? Well, probably about as good as mine, I'm assuming. On a scale of one to ten, I'd say it's about a six. <laughs> Tastes a lot of dick in my time, and I have to tell you, yours was not delicious. Yeah, I can't even believe. It. You're telling people your dick tastes like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, this is terrible. This fucking bolt is stripped. Well, just take those things out. You should be able to get it out through there. No, it's tight. I can't get it out through there. What do you mean? I need a pair of, if you give me a pair of vice grips or something. There should be a pair of vice grips in there. Oh, they're all the way up there. <laughs> Let's go get the saw back, then we'll come back and we'll play fix and fix. Okay. Oh, he'll love it when he starts stalking my new YouTube channel. It's like, he's yeah. fucking talking about me! <laughs> he, he said my dick was a six! <laughs> well, now that I know he might be watching, I'd say it probably was more like a four. <laughs> uh, I'm no cock expert, but. Well, yeah, I am. I've been playing with cocks for 40 years now. Well, one cock. <laughs> kind of kept it to a dull roar with just the one cock. But. I'm not really sure how it tastes because I can't reach it. Not for lack of trying. <laughs> <laughs> no way. Oh, you never just give the old lady a kiss afterwards? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was just your breath. <laughs> Fuck you got cock breath. <laughs> oh, fuck, where'd my cigarettes go now? I love the old lady's cock breath. Probably because it smells like my cock. It's like pheromone. Old Kristen hanging with the roof goose today.
Oh, uh, the old roof goose. <laughs> well, I don't think they're all bad. It's pretty much just him, I think. Just him. Yeah. Well, and whoever he decides that he wants to try to get into his little posse of uh, fucking goofism. Bags. What? Yeah. <laughs> his posse of goofism and douchebaggery. Goof fuckery. Yeah. Fuck goofery. <laughs> Well, boys, we had a little fucking mishap this morning. Drew fucking was stoned, trying to cut down a tree, and it didn't want to go the way Drew wanted to cut it down. Now my saw's stuck, and the fucking drive shaft's broken the skitter. So we're going to go do some fancy cutting here and hopefully not die. Yeah, dying sucks. Oh, dying really fucking puts... I should call and see if my life insurance is up to date first before we do this. Mine is. <laughs> Maybe you should do it. I should do it. <laughs> my fucking brother and sister and niece will split fucking half a million dollars. Your brother will be like, well, go, whoa! No, my youngest brother. <laughs> no, I cut that other brother out of it. He ain't getting shit. I already did fucking a few years for him. He ain't getting no more of my, my shit. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, he'll be furious when he knows that fucking <laughs> his daughter gets like fucking a hundred and fucking something thousand dollars and he gets shafted. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, fuck. Come on. He's just going to spend it on dope anyway. Yeah. At least if she's going to spend it on dope, it's because she has a fucking derelict father. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason for it. Look, this saw is still nice and warm. Keep my hands warm. I'm gonna burn it. Yeah, so this is the forest we're logging. It's fucking dead. We should have got you a video before we cut down like 300 trees. Yeah. It was pretty nice until we came through. <laughs> well, there's a lot of dead trees. <coughs> there's still a lot of dead trees. Fuck, look at them all. Yeah, there's a few in there. Not like it was, but fuck, that's all you could see was dead trees before. Today, if you guys message Mike enough, he'll edit. We probably got like 10 videos. Oh, fuck yeah. We got like, I got like, I don't know, at least a few hours of footage in there. And, uh, yeah, he's just too lazy, guys. I think... He doesn't even care about you guys. I think it'll be tonight. I think tonight we'll do it. We gotta, we gotta make a little channel. It's called Catastrophic Failures. We were taught by the best on how to catastrophically fail. <laughs> we worked at the element for yeah. a couple of years. That's what his company should be called. <laughs> Catastroph <laughs> Catastrophic failure of the elements. We were thinking we might start a new fucking roofing company too called Gizmo Brown Roofing. Cause, uh, just cause. Oh, we don't even care if we get any jobs. We just want to put our ad beside Jeff's. <laughs> ad? Oh, my name's Jeff. <laughs> oh, Ed must have been your father's name. No, nope, nope. I don't know an Ed. <laughs> <laughs> the customer just looks at him. Like, yeah. Huh? I, th I think I was with him one day when he was like, Ed's gone. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. <laughs> Ed died. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he gets the jobs. He makes them feel sorry for him. Yeah. I was watching, uh, Punk's really getting into the, uh, Staging his shows now, isn't he? <laughs> I haven't watched him. I was watching one last, last night, fucking, uh. <laughs> fucking, what, uh. Dude, they got like. Punch an onion gut or fucking oh. something like that. Goes yeah. to collect his rent from him and fucking, he's like, he's hiding under a blanket on his bed and fucking tries to hit him with a crowbar and. Yeah, I lo I'm not sure if that was staged or not. It did look kind of staged. It eh? looked pretty staged and fucking, like. See, like, punch him, dude, I'll punch him, and nobody's punching him. Yeah, because that's <laughs> it. Like, obviously, fucking Pug would have been just feeding it to him and fucking... Yeah, he came in with a crowbar. Yeah, fucking right. Once he got him down, they would have fucked him right up. Oh, fuck yeah. At least I would have. I, <laughs> some fuck guy comes at me with a crowbar, he better hope I don't juck him. <laughs> fucking stab him in his neck or something. Well, that's just because I get a little pokey every now and again. <laughs> I haven't had a good stabbing in a little while. See, like, look at this guy. Fucking. Oh, yeah. This path is our path of destruction. All dead trees and cut them all down. 
Oh, it's fucking terrible. destroyed, destroyed, destroyed. Fucking leaving them in the water and shit. Oh. We're beaver damming. Yeah. Here at Fuck Wilcox Hardwoods. We specialize in the beaver dam. Yeah, beaver, beaver dam, dam and beaver, beaver dam, dam accessories. <laughs> Did you see that muskrat the other day I was trying to show you? No, I didn't. Could have shot him. You can actually sell their pelts. Fucking really? But they're only like I don't I don't know how much you get for them. Twenty bucks. Or something. I didn't even know they had muskrats around here. Yeah. They're beavers. River rat. See, look at this dead area too. We just fuck, fucked it right over. Oh yeah. Still a little cut. You know what we, you know what we need is a fucking meth head broad that's just gonna tweak out out in the woods. Yeah. We can try and hit her with trees. Yeah. <laughs> just stand right there. We're gonna fall this one right beside you. <laughs> it's like when you when you strap the broad to the the target and you throw knives at her, spinning her around. Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Sorry, of the same thing. <laughs> Sorry, of the same thing. Oh, I wonder if we'd get in trouble for that. <laughs> near miss, <laughs> near miss tree dropping on meth heads. I almost dropped a tree on Matt once because he was videotaping me. Yeah, yeah. Like, Don't stand there. He's like, oh, I'm good. And then in the <laughs> video you see him break out and do a sprint. Like, holy fuck! Yeah, there's our, our our path trail. of destruction. Path of destruction. Two years you won't even know we were in here. The whole forest is dead, like. I'm in here and I see three deer. Yeah? It's probably the same three deer. You just want to murder a family, don't you? Oh, the whole damn family. <laughs> Especially the little ones, because they taste the best. <coughs> That's what I hear. I hear. I always hear babies taste best. Oh yeah. They haven't had enough time to... They call it bush veal. <laughs> Maybe we get lucky and the tree already fell down, but saw us laid out of the ground. <laughs> Not the way this day's going. No. Old Sally. Fucking broke her fucking antler off. Her driving antler. I knew today was going just way too well. Yeah. Fuck, I could feel that thing just fucking knocking and I like... Well, yeah, there's a drive shaft jumping around in there like a fucking flounder. Uh, oh, Mike, tell them about how you got some poison oak. Oh, my poison oak? Fucking poison oak, son of a bitch. And all up my leg like I got like leg herpes or something. Not the leg herpes. There's our little conundrum that we got ourselves into. Awesome, eh? So, oh, yeah. well, because that tree's like that, I wanted it to fall that way, but it's pushing on it, pushed it back, and I didn't have a wedge in it. A little too lazy. That'll teach me. So, well, where's this gonna go? It's gonna go right on top of you. Uh -huh. So, I'd probably stand over there. This is what we call. Getting your sharp saw out with your dull saw. <laughs> You'll know all about it. He carried it back. Oh. That's the guy. Was that a better technique, or am I still gonna die? I need training. <laughs> wow. I watched that video though, and I was like, "Yeah, that was pretty poor fucking example of how to fall a tree." <laughs> 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 <laughs>